Hey, this is my second clip on my new YouTube channel. Last time we talked about tuning. Or I talked. You listened. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> and we worked on an E chord. Do you remember the E chord? So I'm using that E chord to tune actually. Now, let's try the A chord. This is going to be middle, ring, and pinky. So middle is on fourth string, second fret, Ring is on 3rd string, 2nd fret. Pinky is on 2nd string, 2nd fret. So that's 4 finger tips, kind of at a diagonal angle. Pressing down on the tips. We're only hitting 5 strings for an A chord. Go through it one string at a time. Listen to each string. Take your time. It's going to take a little bit of time to get used to that. And it's a lot of pressure. The fingertips really have to squeeze down hard on the tips. You have to kind of grind your tip into the, the wood of the fingerboard. You have to really crunch it. Eventually, you'll be able to relax it, but initially, you have to put enough force in there to make sure to get the sound, because otherwise you'll get... I call those ticks. We don't want any ticks. We want a nice, clear sound. Let's compare the E to the A. Here's an E. Here's an A. Those are the two most important chords in rock and roll and pop and blues music. E's and A's. We're going to add a lot more. E, A, A to E. The cool thing about this fingering is these, these two middle fingers from A to E. That keeps you at a good angle so you're not like kinking your wrist up in a bad angle. I don't like that. Some, some instructors will have you learn an A like this. I don't really like it. I'm going to try to get you to use middle, ring, pinky. It'll keep your wrist nice and straight and relax. Take away tension from your arm. Make it easier to play long periods of time. Let's add one more chord. Are you ready? This is D. D is a little less tense. It's index, middle, and ring. Index is on the first, or on the second fret of the third string. Second finger, your middle finger, is on second fret of the first string. And your ring finger is on third fret of the second string. So it's first finger, second fret, third string. Second finger, second fret, first string. Third finger, third fret, second string. And you only hit four strings for now. This requires right on those fingertips, pressing down. Let's compare E, A, and D. You should be able to hear E, shift to A, go to D, back to A. That's a good way to practice. E's, A's, D's, and A's. Bit of strumming, which we'll get into. For now, I, I think you gotta focus on your fretting hand. Get that shape down. E, A, D. If 
you want to add some strumming, do something simple like maybe four downstrokes per each chord, four E's. Four A's. Four D's. Four A's. Eventually, we'll, there won't be a big gap in there. Gap. Gap. It'll be more like... That's what we're shooting for. Did you notice on the D, sometimes I do, I use my pinky there. There's little modifications that happen all the time. No big deal. Well, keep working on E, A, and D. Keep your guitar in tune, and I'll be adding some more chords and some notes really soon. Thank you, and please subscribe. Thank you.